there's different kinds of pleats and different kind of headers, we call them. So this is actually a sample that shows you a, a lot of different sizes. You have grommets and, of course, all different sizes. And then you have goblet pleats. This is a, a top tack pleat. And this is the, the traditional French pleat, classic French pleat. Other people have different names for these. Unfortunately, the names are not universal in the industry. This is a box pleat, very modern. And then we have ripple fold. This is a ripple fold drapery that I actually made up a sample for somebody. So that's why we have it. Ripple fold, very popular now because it's sleek looking and simple lines and clean. It just ripples very nicely back and forth. So it has a um, tape sewed onto it and then it has snaps. So it used to be this was the only kind of rod you can get for it. Now they have decorated rods for it. They put fascias on it, you know, it, it evolved. So we, we like the ripple folds, doing lots of them. And of course the, the classic pinch pleat always, always works well. The top tack, gives you a little more modern also of a pleat. You have here lining, right? And then if we can look under the skirt, interlining. So interlining helps the fabric look more luxurious. You feel flannel. It also comes in what's called English bump. English bump is maybe two, three times the thickness of this. Mm -hmm. And that's, you used to use it a lot. So when you go into these luxurious homes and they're definitely interlined. I think our fabric here, if you go over to that one, is interlined. And it's a faux silk that's not even an expensive fabric, but it looks much more rich and luxurious and thick because of the interlining. So here, this shows you the rod. And this one is with a wood fascia. It could also come with metal. So this has an extrusion in here. So that, these carriers would fit right in here. And then you could do the ripple fold drapery. And what's nice about this is that the brackets are overhead brackets, so we can go very wide. So our limitation becomes the, the rod size. It's like 16 feet or something. Otherwise, we have to splice and we can do wide expanses because otherwise when you have a rod like this with rings you need a center bracket and the center bracket gets in the way of the rings mm -hmm. and if you need multiples you have problems they have what's called c rings cutouts for rings not in love with them right because they they get stuck they get stuck and it's not it's it's not the best this is a crystal finial uh, th this is a heavy piece and you feel the difference here it's a much lighter metal and there's a price difference because of that. You know, when you're dealing with a metal like this or a metal like that. Yeah, these are lucite. So that's how we can get the look, get the look, but not it be much less expensive.